Plains Games with Jay. Okay, let's continue. The it's Jape Room. Shut up. Is there any chance that the thing that I found earlier was just joking around? Seems like you have something on your mind. Um, um, when I first arrived in this room, I received a letter. A letter? I thought it was just a prank, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. Enough with the excuses. Hurry up and show it to me. Ah, uh, yes. It's this. Uh, Solve the mystery of the final dead room, and you will obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. About the life-threatening game, it's life-threatening roulette. P.S. You are held liable for setting the roulette's difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I prepared special prizes, but make sure you don't overdo yourself. Hmm, I see. So that's what it meant. Um, what does it mean? It means the games up till now were just the opening act. From this point on is the real performance. Huh? Life-threatening roulette. That's probably like Russian roulette. See? A gun came out from there. Which means I have to use that to play Russian roulette, right? A Russian roulette? Then allow me. You can't. No matter what, it's too dangerous. Hey, Monami, there's something I wanted to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian roulette. Ah, if that's the case, load one bullet into the cylinder, then spin it. After that, point the gun towards you and pull the trigger. Wait, you can't do that. There's a one in six chance you'll die. A one in six chance of death. Which means the failure rate is only one-sixth. Hey, is that rule really okay? Huh? I mean, if there's only a one-sixth chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? So, shouldn't it be the opposite? Remove one bullet from the gun, and then use it while there are still five bullets loaded. If you do that, there'll be a one-sixth chance of success. Yep, that would definitely make it a more thrilling game. What are you saying? Let's give it a go. Oh, hold on, Nagito. What are you doing? What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. I've only removed one bullet, so there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. You can't. Please stop. It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent, you know. I'm the ultimate lucky student. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? But please stop! Ah, that sound just now. That was the door unlocking, right? <laughs> Looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. Uh, hi. I'm scared of you, Nagito. Really? Oh well, let's go. The octagon should be just beyond that door. So this is the octagon, huh? Oh, what a distorted room. Congratulations, Nagito! Ha -wa -wa -wa. He's here! Congratulations on clearing the final dead room! And even challenge yourself at the highest difficulty with only a one-sixth chance of success. I have a modest present for someone like you. Now then, this first... Is this the Future Foundations file? Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Well, just think of it as an extension of that. Extension? You... What are you giving without permission? Let's see, and one more special prize... Here you go. This crest. Is this Hope's Peak Academies? That's right. This file. It contains your student profiles from your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Meaning there are profiles that you guys don't even remember. Our time at Hope's Peak Academy, huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe it. You mean that matter concerning your stolen school memories? I mean... A no-good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Hope's Peak Academy? No, that's impossible. If that's true, how did I feel? 
Surely, I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Jeez, what are your upbeat or depressed? I still don't understand you at all. Oh well, anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. Thanks. I'll take a long look at it later. So if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's hidden talent is too. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay, someone like me was finally useful. <laughs> hmm? What are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who obtained Hope's Peak Academy student profiles. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? But looks like things are going to get interesting. Yes, Nagito, you might be the one who makes things much more interesting. I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, what are you planning? What's written in there? Anyway, Monami, no cheating. You haven't reached the end yet. Huh? I mean, you haven't played Russian Roulette yet. But, 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 Nakito already did it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Get over here. Revenge of the final dead room. <laughs> Coercion. Jeez, they're gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Monokuma was talking about. But for now, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. There's a door on the floor. Isn't this the first floor of Strawberry House? Could this door lead underground? Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. No, maybe... What lies beyond this door? <laughs> Things are finally getting interesting. A refrigerator here? I wasn't expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside, I see there are poisons stored in here. You could secretly kill everyone with poison. In a way, it can be considered the most powerful weapon. But in that case, you'd have to ignore the rules. Regardless, it's slightly different than an ultimate weapon. Something called ultimate should make my heart dance with joy. A window. Why is there only one window in a place like this? It looks like there's some kind of hidden meaning to it. But in actuality, what could it mean? In my mind, I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly toward the window. And then, the moment I peeked out that window... Huh? Th this is... What I actually saw outside that window. It was completely different from any possibility I had in mind. <laughs> I see. So that's what it was. What I saw outside this window. If I start piecing it together and think about it... Yeah, I see. It seems I'm finally starting to get a large, per larger perspective of the funhouse with this. The final dead room is on the other side of this door. I enter this room from this door. There's no need to bother going back. I gotta look around here. Oh, I thought that was... Okay, never mind. Weapons... Axes, swords, hammers, metal wires. There's a lot of items here that could be used as weapons. Amazing. As expected of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. A chain reaction culminating in the truth, all thanks to just one clue. <laughs> I know that now is not the time to enjoy things, but this is definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. That's right. Everything became connected from there. Thanks to that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon and the funhouse. Now all I have to do is tell everyone else about this. But before I do that, I should finally take a look at the file I received from Monokuma. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles from their time at Hope's Peak Academy. That's important. I cautiously opened the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. 
哈。嘿，还可以喝吗？哈吉梅 ，Can you hear me？ 哈、huh? ，I'm sorry. Did you say something? It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder if that、uh, the elevator's been fixed yet. I had the weirdest dream. I screamed at a puzzle room for thirty minutes, and then I was Nagito. It was really weird. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> It'd be bad if we were split up before the class trial. So maybe we could call. We should call them one more time. Hey, are you listen even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. Sorry. So what are you gonna do? You're right. I'm worried about them too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. Yeah, that's a great idea. I think. <coughs> What the? Hi. Huh? Anyway, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go on a phone call. Yeah. Anyway, it's a great thing. Telephone. The Strawberry. Wait. It's not letting me call. <laughs> Why hello there, Hajime?、Uh, Nagito, why are you here? <laughs> Because I showed up. You showed up. How did you even come here? Maybe I teleported. Well, I'm familiar with that. Teleport. <laughs> huh? I teleported. Okay. Hey, hey. Answer me seriously. How are we able to come to decide? Teleport. Before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. What the hell? There is. I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. I'll give you those details first. Let's hurry this up. Just drops a bunch of bullets in your. In your <laughs> arm. After being abruptly interrupted by Nagito, Shiaki and I learned about the results of his investigation of Strawberry House. Oh, you do truth bullets too? Yeah. Here, here's mine. Okay. Oh, we get. Oh, we got everything that. Okay. Well, I guess these are were pretty important, especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise too. But what was that about the wall clock's alarm going off before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. I've cleared the final dead room. Huh? You did the life-threatening game? It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. It's fucking bullshit. That's what it was. And some post-its being angrily scuffled over. Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and pull the trigger. So, you really did it. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I'd only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monami said. Everyone fucking creaming themselves over Nagito, be like, "Wow, it's so cool how crazy he is by loading all but one bullet." Fuck off, this guy, fucking stupid ass bullshit. Damn.、Puzzles. See, I I like that he's just very like, oh, oh, okay. As objective, no, the, the way he's written, great. I I think he's really entertaining. My feelings right now, playing through that, absolute nightmare. So I'm just I'm just like. Lightning in a bottle, unleashed, just shooting everywhere. <laughs> It、so. had nothing to do with Nagito. You, oh no, you, absolutely, you, you, you angry thunderstorm man. <laughs> huh? I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. That you only had a one in six chance of surviving. <laughs> But I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. What's wrong with him? I knew he was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal, he's crazy. That's all there is to it. Anyway, because I was, I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights, and one of those rights was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play the game again. Move back and forth? Where would you even be able to do that, and how? Hey, Hajime. You've been repeating yourself over and over, and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? Anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roulette at the highest difficulty, and I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. That is that the Future Foundation file? Yeah, it's a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. 
continuation. There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. The, the killing school life? You mean the killings that took place at Hope Speak Academy, right? As I recall, Biakuyo is one of the students who participated in it. But even when we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. Besides Biakuya, of course. Then it's just as I thought. That Biakuya was the Biakuya we knew, right? However, I can't say the information was completely useless. In truth, there are similarities between the killing school life and this killing school trip. Similarities? For example, the first murder involved someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. Huh. And the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. What do you guys think about these strange similarities? I was wondering about- I thought it was just thematic, but I didn't think they would bring it into, like, the story. It's definitely strange. I can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma is behind the motives and driving the murders. What are you trying to say? By the way, the fourth murder of the killing of school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? Whether that means something or not is something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you sure you're not trying to just confuse us? Jeez, your complaints just never end, do they? If you're going to talk like that, I won't want to tell you anymore. And I even learned what your talent is, too. Huh? Well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Onakuma. This is another one. That seal? Indeed. It's the Hope's Peak Academy School crest. Does that have information about our stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Just mine? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Hope's Peak Academy? In a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hajime's existence is special. Because you were... Dang, uh, oh. Just some reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve course students who entered the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute or the second string. Well, even then, that's just a name only. The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hope's Peak Academy's revenue stream. Reserve department? Substitute? Second string? Revenue stream? Well, what is he saying? Like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee and tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. Which means you're just a stepladder. But you should feel honored. An average, talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What the hell does that mean? Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope's Peak Academy? Or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope's Peak Academy, like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that. Wanted to become a hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? <laughs> 
You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. Then I... I'm just... That's right. You were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. I... I... don't have any talent. I'm just an ordinary high school student. Oh, I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student, there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. But if it's on Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous killing school life, Byakuya, would have been the most likely candidate. But now, that's probably impossible. Hey, are you listening? There's no need for you to listen to this. Huh? It may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mekomaru's murder first. Because, if we can't survive the class trial, everyone's going to die together anyway. In that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Oh well, that's fine. I'll stop for now. You said you cleared the final dead room and obtained these files. That means you've gone to the octagon, right? Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? Did you find out what it was? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? What the hell? I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtained there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since this began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. You're right. I did go a place that seemed to be the octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie. There's no way that's possible. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What did you say? Fine, I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. If you won't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigating Mekomaru's case? We better hurry. The class trial is going to start soon. You're right. I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys in Strawberry House should be coming over to this side any moment now. Then, while we're at it, I'll go on ahead. Hey, Hajime? It's okay, I already know. You want to me to focus on Nekomaru's case right now, right? <laughs> It's true that I'm too shocked, but two now is not the time for me to feel too like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yeah. I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekomaru's case. Where are we going? <laughs> Do I just go back to the room, I guess? Pr probably going back to the tower. Oh, 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 God damn. Not only am I a nobody, but I can't go down fucking stairs properly. Uh, you okay, buddy? I return to the depths of hell. <laughs> Gundam. Yo, sorry we're late. Just so you know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. See, it's just as I said, right? Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Uh -huh. Ah, oh, that thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think this compass might be broken. I didn't ask for your opinion. Just tell me the results. <laughs> well, well. The compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. The needle rotated 180 degrees? I see. It's just as I thought. Huh? What do you- hey, what do you mean by that? Well, obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated? Now then, I should go investigate Nekomaru's body. 
As if you were thumbing his nose at us, Nagito began uh, making his way toward the Grape Tower. The hell is wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed off or something? The hell is wrong is him. Oh, is that what it said? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Nagito, what do you know? How much do you know? Okay. How does he know that info? Gah, Nekomaru. Are you serious? Damn it. I don't know who did this, but this is pretty fucked up. Now it's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. <laughs> no, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikan is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. But Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Huh? Eh. Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru's body, you sicko? Don't screw with me. Hasn't Coach Nekomaru been through enough already? Been through enough. We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nekomaru. Well, why you... If you suck at using your brain and you really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. <laughs> Come on, Kazuichi. What are you standing there for? Uh, damn it. Fine. I just have to do it, right? I know I said I want to see his insides, but not like this. This is just too much. Come on. Are you guys feeling okay, too? Now is not the time to be staring into space. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I had no talent, but seems like that's not entirely the case. His attitude toward everyone else is strange now, too. But why? So I guess just talk to Kazuichi? Come so far. There's no way I can Lose get Lose it all! Like this. <laughs> I feel awful for Nekomaru, but this is necessary if we're going to find out the truth behind this case. As he forced out his voice through his clenched teeth, Kazuichi faced Nekomaru, his eyes full of determination, and began stabbing his tool knife into Nekomaru's body. Huh? Where did you get that tool knife? Huh? Nagito gave it to me. He said he had it ready before we even met at the, uh, we even went to the amusement park. So Nagito did that too. It's like Nagito has full control of the situation. Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Huh? The reason Nekomaru died, I mean stopped functioning. His torso is covered in huge dents, and his pants are dislocated. His parts are dislocated. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, someone took his pants <laughs> off. Oh, God. Real pervert here. God damn. Hmm. Maybe a gear shaft broke, too? Well, for now, I tried disassembling Nekomaru's chest. That should help us learn something, right? If that's the case, I need to look at Nekomaru's body one more time. Oh, there we go. The clock. I was wondering if that was going to come into play. Apparently, Kazuichi finished disassembling uh, Nekomaru's body. I should probably check it out one more time. Okay. Does that clock say 7.30? Nekomaru's chest panel is open. The clock inside is completely exposed. The hands of the clock looks like they're pointing to 7.30. Also, it looks like the clock's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Which means, this clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30 a.m.? Huh. But 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, we should have arrived at Grape Tower just before 7 a.m. at Fumonokuma Tai Chi. Is this clock fun malfunctioning? No, wait. It's a, high, it's a radio clock. Yeah, that's like, this not, uh, you... Gets automatically updated. Yeah. It's a clock that'll never slow down. I become a Time Lord. I don't need to wear a wristwatch. Watch, watch, watch. An accurate watch. radio clock that never slows down, huh? If that's the case... Why does this broken clock say 7.30 a.m.? Okay. Um, is there anything else to look at? Let's look at the head. Something protruding from Nekomaru's net. Okay, it's the good night button. Yeah, okay. What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Nekomaru's body and it almost seems like he's glaring at him. Jeez, this is the worst. Huh? You guys overlooked an important clue. I swear, you're just the worst. 
As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. Well, what are you talking about? I found this under a fragment of the pillar that tipped over. Is, is this a doorknob? Looks like the screws came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus, it looks like there are scratches near the base of the doorknob. Don't you think it's strange? If we examine the far back door in Grape Tower, the doorknob is still intact, right? Now that you mention it, you're right. If that's the case, where did this doorknob come from? If it's not the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then there's only one other possibility. It had to be the door connecting to the Grape Hall that we entered from, right? Well, it makes sense to think about it like that. We should try it out. Try it out how? We take the elevator to Strawberry House, and we enter Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. Now, that's the only way we can see the other side of that door, right? But the buttons, uh, the button to open the door in Strawberry Hall is broken, right? We can just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Yeah. Uh, well, you're right, but I need parts to repair the door in Strawberry Hall. I can repair it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> but you have plenty of parts right here. Huh? Just use Nakamaru. I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find parts you can use. Uh, hold on. Are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? It's called recycling. It's a much better alternative than disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? <laughs> it's like someone checks Nekobaro's wall. It's like, uh, except organ donors. Like, yeah, parts donor. Yeah, he's, he's down. He's, he's down good for, for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, junk. Well, Kazuichi, is it possible or impossible? <sighs> like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... Seriously? Hold on. Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Chain? The door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around a doorknob. Even if you fix the button on the Strawberry Hall, uh, Hall side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? I, I don't need to worry? What does that mean? Kazuichi, we should go over to Strawberry Hall so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished. Hajime, you're going to come later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, if there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. So you should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. After tersely saying that, Nagito left the area. I guess we'll figure out what Nagito and Kazuichi find. Next time!